Hello everyone and welcome back to Silver Star Arcade and more uh Wave Tail, yeah. Now I don't know how far oh what the Now I don't know how far back it put me because I think this game operates off of autosave. Um Right. Uh also sorry if like I sound weird or if I move away from the mic. I did something to my neck and if I don't keep it like precisely still it's becomes like extremely painful something's up at the plaza yeah well I'm here aren't I did you ever hear the joke about the three holes in the ground well 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 that's dumb Oh, we can get new stuff. Dry kelp red hair dye. I like the red hair. Steven Siegel and diving helmet. Rainy day hat. How is this any different from the Steven Siegel? They, they aren't. Why is it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Wait, no. This is the rainy day hat. Oh, it shoots up. Okay. Doctor's mask. Camouflage. That one's not too bad. Morning mist hair dye and moonlit green hair dye. Posh hat. Surfing helmet. Stylish headscarf. And then chill hat. Move sailing, yep. Okay, so it just straight up will not tell me where I'm supposed to go. All it says is something's up at the plaza. And where's the other guy? Like, the mayor in that. Yeah, we've met them. Oh, whoops. Wrong thing. What, am I supposed to go back up top? Just noticed the elevators out of order. How in Sparks' name did you even get up here? I wish I was that capable when I was young. Oh, I'm sure you were. Perhaps, but more in numbers way. A briefcase, a high salary, those kinds of things. But after the city sank and the family business went under... My collected data and knowledge of interest rates wasn't valuable anymore, nor my money. I missed the briefcase though. It was a pretty one. It had a nice handle. So I think my game's broke. Which is a great way to start this day. Alright. Didn't get to do anything for the entire weekend. My neck is hurt to the point where I can't turn it, and now the game might be soft locked. Supposedly, there's supposed to be a cutscene, I think, at the plaza where it sends us on another quest to go do stuff with a lighthouse, apparently. But, that's not activated. All I have is dumb paperclip guy over there. So, I'm going all the way back to the rig to see if maybe the game didn't save and I have to do that entire boss fight again. Which, if I do, I'm going to be really annoyed. Or to see if maybe the boat is still back here. Wow, you rude. Wow, when you're not having fun with this, you move extremely slow. Oh, would you look at that? Here are the two boats. Oh, what's this? Seemed like there was an election. Is that the same one? And to think I was having fun with this game.
Like, I mean, I probably still will, but this is very annoying. Seriously, is my game broke? Like, I kind of wish it would actually tell you on the map where you're supposed to be. You're kidding me. This is where it auto saves? It auto saves at the end of the boss fight? Why did they leave? They fed that monster enough. The question is, My what happened? My god, that is incredibly stupid. It's not just the gloom. That spray, it, it controls those monsters as well. That's horrifying. If you had been around during the war, then you would have no true horror. We won't let this stop us. So let's head back to Plaza. Doris told me you were in need of some sparks. Well, I'm going to do the smart this thing, smart thing this time and catch a ride because this boat goes way faster than my movement speed. Although something tells me that boat's going to go faster. What the hell? Okay, we get to do this again. We are still far from shore. Know that I've got you. It's what my mom used to sing to me when I woke up with nightmares. Oh, what the hell? God, this game is frustrating. I'm sorry, that's probably just the pain from my broken neck talking. Wow, would you look at that? It's actually possible to catch up to the boat. What the hell? I took damage. And that temporarily broke my character thing. But yeah, what a stupid place to save it. There you have it, Miss, uh, or, yeah, Miss Skigarit? Skigat? Morris has. Morris here has rerouted most of our power reserves to your island and the lighthouse. Don't worry about the plaza. We'll make do with what little remains. We've been through our times before. We all know we can only succeed when each of us does what we can. Oh. All right, Siggy. I need to start revising the blueprint stat. You go ahead and start transmitting the power. Just follow this spark cable. We'll reconvene back home. Run back home and power the lighthouse. Oh, great. Now we finally get to do stuff. Okay, well, here, I'm actually going to catch a ride, since he loved to abandon me so much. Oh, I actually have to power it along the way. Okay. I gotcha. Still don't know why there's a paperclip over top of that guy's head. Oh, I have to go up top, okay. What the heck? Ow, ow, ow. 
god, like, I can't move my neck even an inch. Any progress, Ziggy? I'm about halfway between home and the plaza. Oh, by the old central station, then? Where? Uh, all I see is water. Oh, probably right under your feet. Too deep down for you to see. Was it like a, a station for sparks or something? <laughs> no, Shrimpy. For travelers. A busy place. Trains coming and leaving. People hurrying to get their tickets. And a bakery with lovely armchairs called the Blue Sky Cafe. Serve the best That sounds familiar. Down. What did bagels taste like? Huh. Better than crab. I can tell you that much. The Blue Sky Cafe. Why does that sound so familiar? Now I'm interested. Uh, alright, so I guess the, that might just be a thing of me, you know, remembering something that doesn't exist. Well, it does, I looked it up, but it's, it, it's just like a generic name. It's not like a big name place, it doesn't really have any significance, right? I, and I've never been there, because it's in a place I've never been. And there was a few of them. There was a few of them in a few different places. Um, but yeah, no, I guess... I don't know. Maybe there's like a game studio that's called Blue Sky something. I don't know. Pop. Alright, where's the last one? All the way out there. Also, I finally realized why I, uh, I glow pink. You glow pink when you're above water to signify when you can and cannot dive down. God, am I gonna have to edit this video? Cause I hate, I hate giving you guys so little content by having like the first 11 minutes just me being, just me bumbling around. It's not even really my fault, you know, I, cause here's the weird part, right? The game semi auto saved because it put me, it dropped me off where I ended the last episode. So it remembered where I was. It just didn't remember, remember what I had done, which I think is extremely stupid, but to a degree it did because I, I, I already gave the guy his axe back. I didn't have to redo that quest. That quest was still completed. But for some reason, the handle wasn't. I don't know. It's all just kind of dumb. And there's... And it's weird. There's nothing... There's nothing a game can do to make you lower its opinion of it faster than, like, make you retrace your steps and have it not be your fault, right? Like, a glitch here or there is fine, but, you know, and sometimes even, and sometimes even a glitch that breaks your game can be funny or, you know, add to the experience, but something that makes you redo progress for no good reason, right? And especially something that doesn't make sense, right? Like, keeping my side quests, uh progress saved but not my main stories progress saved grandma there's something wrong with the last relay oh that thing always gets the hiccups reboot it and it should be fine control boards in the green house i love how grandma absolutely hate us being on the water but now that we can be on the water she just gets us to do everything for her Who's that? Hey, Mom. Rough day today. I met a new friend. Oh. 
Hello there. That's extremely nice. Dinner for three and not an ounce of crab or seaweed. So odd, according to the date, it was grandma's birthday. Lighthouse will be all right for now, but even but even if we redirected the power, we've got this weapon. It's st we've got to this weapon. It still wouldn't be enough. Maybe if we connected sleepy triplets to the grid and what's that around your neck? Oh, I found it in the greenhouse. I haven't seen that in a long time. Take good care of it, will you? <laughs> oh, I will. I promise. Good. Anyway, seems like we're going to need more power, and there's tons of work left on these blueprints. Guess I have no choice but to let you recon the triplets by yourself. Just don't do anything foolish, and you might just manage. And you come back here right away if things go awry. You hear me, girl? Yeah, I'm, I can't really do voices, because I think doing voices might contribute to my neck being all messed up. I really like it when Bane stops by with his deliveries. Sometimes, when Granny is busy, he gives me gossip from the other islands. Like, did you know that someone named Ad Ad Adrian? Adrian got pregnant and refuses to tell anyone who the father is? Apparently, it's been the big talk for months over in Sleepy Triplets. Interesting. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess... I guess we can head out that way. Pretty sure this is the right... Whoops. Wrong thing. Yep, this is the right way to go. Oh, that's interesting. You can kind of time it. One night when I was a kid, Grandma had a drink and let me stay up late. Then she started telling me about when Strandville sank. It was just two days after Grandpa's death. Granny was upset and wanted to join the fight, but there was no one else to watch over Mom. So they took cover in Grandpa's greenhouse. They sat in there looking through his hundreds and hundreds of notes and drawings when something just cracked. Granny said that it sounded like the earth broke in two. They must have been so scared. Hmm. So I guess that thing I was talking about earlier when I mentioned like, you know, all the World War II stuff. I, I imagine it'd be like that, you know. You know, having to hide in like a bunker while the air raids happened. I could never imagine being in a situation like that. Triplets aren't too far. You should be able to spot them once you've passed the old cidery. What's a cidery? Ah, your mother actually worked there for a couple of summers before she... They pressed apples from the Kipson farm. Made the best cider around here. The sweetness that set your mouth at tingling. Apples? Are those the orange ones? No, Shrimpy. That's an orange. So what color? Does it matter? We ain't going to eat one again anyways. You don't have to be a dick. <sighs> red, Shrimpy. They were red. 
Also, why are there no, like, fruits and vegetables? Like, we still have a little bit of land, right? I, I guess you could pose the argument that they drowned. But... Or maybe the gloom, like, affects plant life. That's why everyone lives off of... I can make out the triplets ahead. Didn't you and Grandpa used to live there? We did. Is that where you met? No, but it's where we had our first date. <laughs> he was so nervous, the poor man. But he dared to ask you out. I asked him out, dear girl. Without me, we wouldn't even have gotten to first base. Grandma! What? That's how it was. Oh, shit. Sneaky boy is back. Man, this game is gorgeous. I'd probably be enjoying it more if I didn't have this huge pain in my neck. Hi, hello, what are you? You- You're them- You're them aliens from Chicken Little. Whoa, whoops, 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 whoops. Come on. Jesus, the waves are rough here. Hello there. Hey, what are you doing? I'm waiting. For what? Hang on. to get darker for that my uncle sent me to activate the spark caster on at the top of the island he thought the monster wouldn't notice a small kid but I I just can't do it can you help of course I'll try there's a generator hidden in the gloom out there if you activate you should be able to get to the caster Yeah, the world just kind of gets darker in here for some reason. Oh, shoot. Let's clear up some of the gloom, see if we can get a bit of color back into the world. I think I must like talk with very exaggerated movements because I'm not talking a lot and that's mostly because I can't move. Oh god, it even hurts to yawn. place this was before the fall.
Oh. Does he see me? I'll take that as a maybe. Oh, shit! Oh, he definitely sees me. Damn! He predicted where I was going. Next. Pop. Okay, so whatever that stuff is, they don't like it. Take that, you ugly maggot. Wow, that was amazing. I wish I could help you with something. Well, I actually need to transmit sparks back to the night orchard. My grandmother runs the lighthouse. We need it to push back the fog. Do you know where your spark tank is placed? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not far from here at all. I'll, I'll mark it on your map. When I grow up, I want to be a uh, whatever it is you are. Ah, that's cute. Don't know what kind of haircut you got going on, though. Oh, wait, no, that's one of those, um, trendy haircut? I don't know. I'm not in touch with trends or anything. Yeah, when you said not far from here, you could have said, like, you know, you know, just turn around. Hi there. Oh, oh, that's actually what she said. Hi there. Uh, I need to use that tank to transmit some sparks, if you don't mind. What? Who are you even? What gives you the authority to do that? Oh, I'm the head mechanic at the lighthouse. I work directly under Doris Skagrig. She's requesting extra power f to the lighthouse to push back the gloom fog. Miss hmm. Skagrid? Huh. Well, you should have sta started with that. Unfortunately, this thing's empty. We'll need to fill it up first. Don't you worry, I'm a trained professional. I'll take care of this. Explore the island for more sparks. Okay, we'll do this and then we'll end the episode and then maybe I'll cut some stuff out. Maybe I'll cut out like the first 11 minutes of the episode, you know, and go from there. Ah, uh, but that... Why don't I go under the water anymore? Pop. Hello there. Big Cassius. Oh, 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 I'm alive. Very much, oh, why did I hit that? Ugh. Oh my stars, the things I saw in there. It's suddenly so clear, you know, how precious life is. And love, it's time. I've put this off for too long. Tonight, Big Cassius is proposing. Alas, I have no ring, but this must be done in a proper way. Girl, with your young legs and that marvelous net, surely you can find something for me. I'm not from this area. I'm only here to visit my boyfriend. But you'll help me, right? Find the engagement ring. All right. Boing. Oh wow, for how big that spring is, it didn't get me very high. What's this? Can I open it? Can I go down there? No? That sucks. Sparks. Okay, so the spark we need is up there. 
Also, I really like Big Cassius. I don't know why. <laughs> Bam! supposed to launch me higher. Hmm. Interesting. I'll grab that. Ow. Back off. Okay, hit that. Okay, you know what? I'm starting- Oh! I was just saying how I'm starting to like this game again. Man, it's- Ow, 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 ow. My neck. Okay, maybe if I just, like, don't move, it'll automatically shoot me over there? Okay, yeah. So, not moving is the call. Yay, yeah, it's fully open now. Come here. Big Cassius. I can see where you guys nicknamed from. He really towers over me. He seems to be very in love with his boyfriend, but he but never had the guts to propose to him until the gloom wave hit. Seems the wave made him realize life was nothing to take for granted. I hope he gets his yes. Young kid who knows everything about the spark casters in the triplets. He seems impressed with my spark net skills. I wonder if I would have made a good big sister. Huh? Karen works as a mechanic and takes care of her brother Elliot. She enjoys helping others and when there is no way for her to do it, she is filled with guilt. I ought to see a shrink about it when they get back in business, she tells me. Didn't find a ring, which I'm slightly disappointed by. Wait, no, no, no. Aw, oh, darn. I had a chance to do something great. See an engagement ring down here. That makes me think though. What are your guys' thoughts on engagement rings? Like like do you guys Well I guess I I guess not engagement rings in general, but as in like what kind you would want. See, I don't know what I would get. I think I know what I would use for my wedding rings. Supposedly, uh, I don't know if this is true, but supposedly my uh, my papa set aside some wedding rings that belong to. I don't know if they belong to his dad or if they belong to him, but my papa has some wedding rings set aside that he'd like me to use. And you know, it's a very sweet notion. Well, it's sweet that they think I, I'm, it's possible for me to get married in the first place. That, that's extremely sweet, but, I'm, but I fear it's going to leave them bitterly disappointed. Um, but, yeah, you know, like, and when you got something like that, you, you, you kind of just have to. Not just from, like, a, a respect and a 
passing down the generation thing, but even just from an economical standpoint, like if you can like not spend, you know, if you can like avoid spending $4,000 on a ring and still not come off as cheap, then you have to go for it. Right? Now, obviously, living your economical status, and if your you know, spouse is giving you a hard time for the price of the ring, then maybe you're with the wrong person. Right? But still. Oh, you're still alive. I don't know if I'll ever get married. I want to get married. You know, I, like most people, want to find someone that, you know, they can spend the rest of their lives with, but I'm not really in the position to find anyone, and there's not really a place to go and meet people where I am at. The only way to really meet people my age would be to, um, I don't know, I guess go out drinking? But the thing is, I don't drink. So, that's kind of out of the question. And I mean, I know there's other stuff to do at bars, but also like, I don't know. I'd like to, I, I wish there was a way to meet people without having to spend money in a place I already don't want to be at, if that makes sense. Bah. Thanks for this, Miss Mechanic. Everything is ready to be transmitted. You're welcome. And now I'm just gonna quickly go and try to find this guy an engagement ring. Oh, why is why did my jump not charge up? Alright, they usually keep all the stuff that you- they usually keep all quest items, like, within the vicinity. So, it should be on this island somewhere. just the glow of the lever you know loaded in before the, the lever itself did man where would this ring be like you would think it'd be like over here because this is like the only kind of stretch that like is out of the way No, that does get, have me thinking, like, you know, do I know what kind of wedding I would want? Like, would I want a themed wedding? Would I just want, like, a normal white wedding? I think that's what they're called, right? Just, like, the normal, everyone wears, 
you know, everyone wears white. Alright, well, I guess we can come back for this. Yeah, like, would I, would I allow kids or not? Well, I guess, like, I got no problem with kids. Well, maybe not, like, a, a baby. I think I would have, like, a no baby rule, right? I think that's fair, but, like, you know, maybe no toddler. It, it all depends on, like, what you define as a kid. Like, if they're 13 and older, then, yeah, they can learn to... Or I pray that they've already learned that, you know, to be able to sit down for, you know, a little while. But, um, you know, like, I don't got a problem with kids, but I guess it would be up to my spouse. You know, for sure. Like, see, see right there? Actually, you guys probably can't see. It's going to be, like, super small on your screen. But there's, like, a glowing thing, which leads you to believe that it's, you know, like an item. But then you get closer, and it's just the lever. Well, he did say the lever was around this area, so maybe, uh... Maybe it's not actually on that island. Maybe it's like on a nearby island. What's on this island? I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be on this island yet, considering I can't activate anything. Yeah, there's no power running to this island. Like, at all. There is a book! Jeez, that guy came in fast. Some weird kind of jewelry, maybe. I prefer Miss Starlight's design. Is that a... Is that a fucking yogurt tube? Well, couldn't find the engagement ring, which kind of sucks. But yeah, so, here you go guys, you have a bit of a longer episode. Although I don't know how long, because I don't know how much of this I'm cutting out. But the fact that I have to edit it at all enrages me. Why is there still the spark thing on here? Can I... Oh. What happened? I thought you were a pro. Um... Hmm, seems like a fuse blew when the serpent came and wreaked havoc. My little lock over at the locomotive should have replacements. The locomotive? The old candy factory. It's still running, but it's more of a workshop now. Look for the smoking chimneys. You can't miss them. Oh, so the place I was just at. Alright, well, we'll tackle that in the next episode. So... Thank you, thank you all so much for watching. Sorry for the kind of lackluster episode. But yeah, so as always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.